Got a great one for you there, Deirdre. Just bought the Fitzgerald's place. He claims to be over 250 years old. Now don't give me the look. If you wanted a story, it's a story, isn't it? Anyway, he asked for you personally. I think you got yourself your first fan. Lucky me. start with when you were born. Mr. Ellis. Oh, sorry. February 29th, 1740. 1740? Yes. I'm 269 years old. Really? Is that so, Mr. Ellis? My fair city. She wasn't so fair in those days. The sky was overcast. Times were tough then, as I'm sure you've read about. So tell me, do you enjoy the occasional drink? I remember my first pint of Guinness. It was everyone's first Guinness back then. It was warm, just like Arthur. You knew the Arthur Guinness. What other famous figures inhabit your story? It's a difficult thing, memory. In the end, there's only feeling. Love, happiness, sadness, grief. These have been my companions over the years, but I didn't find what I was looking for. I followed her, but she always eluded me. Her face changed so many times. Oh, so you're looking for someone? A girl? Well, I hear love can drive the mind to madness. You don't believe me. Why should you? I'm just a rambling old fool who spent too much time in the dark going mad. You really do believe this, don't you? That's not important. What's important is that you're here, that I found you, after all this time. You must be getting a little confused. I think I have enough here. Mr. Ellis, thank you for your time. I'll just show myself out, but it really has been quite fascinating. Deirdre, I found a love so pure that it can sustain a man's heart beyond his years. You're here in my journey, Deirdre. Here, take this. It's yours now. Promises must be honoured. Now, so, so has mine. mine. So, so has mine. brings us from one place to another are the promises that we make. Now I know the truth in what he said. A promise of love can hold you to someone forever. And now I know I have promises of my own. <laughs> 